have to say, don't dye your hair before you get star locks or while you still have them. Just wait till they lock, cause it's just delaying your process. Cause when you dye your hair, it's, it like it loosens your curl pattern up a little bit, and that'll just make it harder for it to lock. So just wait. Number two, what I'd, I'd have to say, just know what you want. Like whether it's coils or twist. I'm gonna make a video about that later. Um, how you want your parting? If you want the middle part, how big you want the parts. Um, and that'll that'll determine how big your actual lock is. So just know what you want, cause there's nothing worse than getting star locks and then you end up not liking them. Number three, wetting your hair is okay, bro. Like you don't have to wait a whole two, three months to get your hair wet, bro. Like it actually helped me. Like my first month, I didn't get my hair wet barely at all, and I saw no progress whatsoever. But after I started letting my hair get wet more, I'm I see a, I'm starting to see a lot more progress. Like. It is not gonna hurt, bro. Water moisturizes your hair, and moisturized hair will help you lock it faster. Like, just look it up. Come on. Now. All right, I say the last one, number four. I feel like it's a given, but it's something that needs to be said because I wasn't doing it, and that's just being patient, man. My first set of starter locks, I was not patient at all. I was expecting immediate results, and that's not the case. With locks, that's that's a, just a, that's a real journey, bro. Like, you just gotta just deal with it. Even if it's looking real frizzy and all that, you just gotta deal with it. Keep pushing, bruh. I'm starting to, I was starting to get a little impatient with these, but hey, I just know that once they do lock, they're gonna be hard. So just, just keep, just keep on holding on, man. Do not, do not give up.